Hi, Linda Brown here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. It's Friday and Technique on video, and I am going to be showcasing the Love and Happiness bundle. Now, this bundle's a little bit different. We have a uh, bouquet of love dies that go with the stamp set and the dies and the hybrid folder work hand in hand and so that is the technique I'm going to show you today. The love and the happiness covers everything with love. We're talking Valentine's Day, things, uh, cards for your husband, congratulations, weddings, anniversary, engagements, just a fun um, stamp set to celebrate love. But let's get started as I want to show you how these dies and the embossing folder work together. Now I'm going to go get my Stampin' Emboss and Cut Machine and my platform and my number four plate. I'm going to grab a piece of fresh freesia and this measures three and a quarter three and three quarter by five and I am going to put that into my folder and the cool thing is that the folder has a place for the die from that die set so I'm going to lay that down and try to see exactly Try to get, oh, that's a pretty good guess because I want my paper in the middle. So the die is in the insert and we're just going to run that through and it is going to emboss and cut at the same time. And what I am finding is that I like to layer these die and cut out. So I have the cut out of the heart and see it embossed and cut. It gave stitching around the negative image of the heart and we are going to use this part for our card today. I'm going to grab the Calming Camellia. Now you can get this stamp set free during celebration with a $300 qualifying order. Now this order can be just yours or a combination with friends. And I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of paper to stamp on. Well, it's pretty. Looks like I need to get another one. And what I want to do is take this piece of white, it's three and a half by three and a half, and my fresh fuchsia ink pad. And I'm going to stamp the flower. Now this flower is the image that gives us highlights and low lifes in one stamp and I love when this happens. So we've got our flower stamped. I'm going to put this away and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a four by five and a quarter. Now this is um, the same color so I'm kind of doing a monochromatic and I want to take that heart and line up how I want the flower. So I think about right there. So just kind of eyeballing so that I get it in the right place. And then I'm going to go in with my dimensionals and I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of the piece that I embossed and die cut. I'm going to add quite a bit of dimensionals around the outside edge of that heart so that it pops up and also in the four corners. I'm going to grab my pick a tool. I found it with this video sometimes. Oops, it looks like that backing didn't come off of that one. We can just pull that off. There we go. Um, usually I'm hunting for my pick a tool. I have one pick a tool that is lost in my stamp room, has been lost in my stamp room for several months. Someday I'm going to open a drawer and it's going to be right there. So I've got 
my backings. This one again has, there we go. Make sure I've got all of them off, looks like it. Now we're going to add this on top. Like the look of the monochromatic with the different layers, same color. And then I have got this piece. I have another heart somewhere. Oh, there it is. I'm going to add that to our card base. I've already taken the five and a half by eight and a half and scored it at four and a quarter for my card. Got that. Now remember there was another heart, so I've already taken that and stamped it, and it says, Happy Valentine's Day, friend. So we're going to add a dimension to that. Put that right about there. I'm going to go in and grab my new rhinestones. They're, these are the iridescent rhinestones. Love how the color kind of picks up whatever color you're working with. We're going to add some of those on the heart. Maybe three of them. Oops. And a couple at the top. No, I think I like that the way it is. But I want to show you other cards that I did with this. So remember I had the, the image that cut out of there. So what I did was I took another piece of three and three quarter um, by five and I use the in color designer series paper run it through the folder but then just used my negative um, image from this piece on here and so then that left me a heart done with the designer series paper so I cut a white piece and put the designer series uh, paper in the center so giving me yet a different look and sponged um, around the um, outside edge of that. So that left me a white heart. And then I took the white heart and added the flowers and put it on a piece of fresh freesia. So just a lot of fun different ways that you can use this new um, love and happiness bundle. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.